Would you agree that it was not a hoax that the Russians were engaged in trying to uh, impact our election? Absolutely. That was not a hoax. Uh, the indictments we returned against the Russians, two different ones, were uh, uh, substantial in, in their scope, using that scope word again. Uh, and I think one of the we have underplayed to a certain extent that aspect of our investigation that has and would have long-term damage to the United States that we need to move quickly to uh, address. Robert Mueller was deemed to be at his strongest today when the subject went right there. Russian election interference. He stressed the need to protect future elections. The New York Times pointed out, quote, Mr. Mueller has made little secret of his belief that the public has not fully grasped the elaborate and targeted nature of Russia's attacks on the 2016 elections that were detailed in his report, nor has the government taken sufficient steps to address it or prevent such an assault from occurring again. With us for more tonight, one of the Democrats in the room today, we just saw her at the hearing, Congresswoman Jackie Speer of California, who sits on the House Intelligence Committee. Uh, Congresswoman, let me begin with an attempt at truth here. Be as honest as you can. Was there was there disappointment in your caucus at the gulf between reputation and delivery today? You know, for some weeks now, we have been trying to lower expectations because in negotiating with the special counsel and his team, it was very clear that he did not want to engage in a uh, lengthy discussion, that he wanted to uh, be restricted to the four corners of the report. So we were anticipating I think, a more taciturn response from uh, the special counsel. What do you think was his best moment today, Congresswoman? Well, he had a couple of really good moments when he underscored the fact that uh, the president lied uh, when he was responding to Val Deming's question, that even in his uh, responses, his written responses to question, he was not truthful. And, of course, he never responded to any of the questions regarding the obstruction of justice. And it went on for over a year to try and negotiate an actual interview, which never took place. So I think for the special counsel, he was tired of the wait. And he never said it. But I wonder to what extent there was concern that the actual investigation might be shut down by the president. The graphic over Sean Hannity's shoulder tonight when he came on the air on Fox News was the day impeachment died. Do you think that's right? I don't think it's right at all. No. Do you think the opposite is true? I do. I do. You know, all you have to do is paint a really powerful picture for the public. Uh, if you take the uh, Grand Havana Club interaction between the campaign chairman of Donald Trump, Mr. Manafort, and Rick Gates, his deputy campaign manager, meeting with Konstantin Kalimnik, a Russian operative with the GRU, and handing over elaborate polling data to be used by the Internet Research Agency, in all likelihood. And that didn't happen once or twice. It happened over the entire summer. I think that becomes very compelling. That is an intent to conspire. And intention to conspire, just like intention to obstruct, both of those are still crimes. So let me uh, close by asking you, when will we know what the direction of the House is going to be? I didn't mean to strike fear in your heart when I mentioned before the break that, of course, the speaker can, with one phone call, cancel the entire summer recess, keep you all in town or try to, and start this thing in earnest, all evidence to the contrary. I think that the speaker is softening uh, to the idea of an impeachment inquiry to begin. Uh, certainly, I got that impression in listening to her this afternoon. Uh, I don't know that the numbers of members are at a critical mass yet, but I do think it's growing. And I think that the more this is, this information about the Mueller report kind of is uh, saturated in the public's eye, that we'll see a greater willingness to have this inquiry begin and more members coming forward in support of it. 
Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.